find more leads than you can even process. That's multiple listing service. That's the MLS for your real estate agents. Absentee owner information. Find the cash buyers and flippers in any market nationwide. Pull a pre-foreclosure list. And don't forget, you got to find those comps. Get nationwide access with multiple filters powered by PropStream at WokeSource.com. Get your seven-day free trial today. WokeSource.com. That's WokeSource.com. You may have heard the saying, the fortunes are in the follow-up. Now there's a brand new system that is great to help you cold call, text message, drop voicemails, and so much more, all automated. You don't have to remember anything, just set it and forget it. All you have to do is speak to people. Check it out, WokeReply.com. It's a multi-touch marketing campaign where you can schedule to send text, voicemail, email, and even live calls all on autopilot. Check it out today, WokeReply.com. That's WokeReply.com. I shouldn't assume anything. Let's call Martin up and see what's going. So give this video a thumbs up, give it a like, give it a share. Share it to somebody who might care to see a live real estate call. I'm about to call him up. This lead came in at 3.50 a.m. in the morning, almost 12 hours ago. No, that's more like, uh, yeah, 12, 11 hours ago or so. Let's call him up. Call him up, call him up. See what he's talking about. Uh, let's go here. Should I call him from my other phone? I guess I will call him from this phone today. I be wanting to switch phone numbers for some reason. You know, I just feel like they know me already. Let me call from another number. It don't matter. This is an inbound lead, so we're going to call him back right now. This is Mr. Martin. Hello? Hey, Martin, this is Chris. Uh, you had submitted a form online, say you were interested in selling your house on Elizabeth. Possibly. How are you today? Doing good. Yeah, I was just following up with you. Um, say you were looking to sell it here for um, uh, this house over in Ferguson. Uh, kind of catch me up to speed. What's going on with it? I, think I, I don't really have to sell it. I just, if I want to move closer to my children and St. Charles or out in uh, Wentzville, I might do that. Oh, okay. So you're kind of more so just trying to see what you can get for it. Is that what it is? Sure, sure. <laughs> okay. And I see in the thing here, did you mean to put 450000 in there or did you mean to put 45000 in there? You had an extra zero, I think. 450000 450000 Wow. Okay. Cool. 450000 Yeah. 450000 Okay. Great. And so... um you say you were looking to sell it because you were thinking about moving closer to your children. All right. Okay. So this property here, uh, do I need to do anything as far as updating or any kind of repairs or anything, or is it pretty much in great condition? Great condition. Mm -hmm. You know, and to be honest with you, Martin, I didn't know that Ferguson even had any $450,000 houses there. They sell for that over there? Mm -hmm. Yep. They got them here. My neighbor just bought one uh, eight months ago. More than that. <laughs> wow. He camped camp in LA. Oh, okay. But it's like, because I think the highest I ever saw in that zip code was like 300, but that was like last year. I guess the, the, price, the market value might have went up though. Huh? Well, right now with the interest rates going up, uh, it's not as good, right? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's been affecting everybody in the market. Right. Yeah, yeah. So if we were able to agree on, you know, good price and everything that made sense for you, I mean, what kind of timeline are you on? When would you want to get this wrapped up and done? Hey, Chris, is that you? Six months. Oh, so you're six months out. Okay. So Possibly, yeah. Unless you uh, make an offer that I can't refuse. <laughs> So that'll be like summertime when you're out of there. Okay. Um, yeah, I've already turned. I already turned down three hundred and fifty. So I'm just letting you know. Oh wow, you turned it down. Three fifty isn't enough, yeah. huh? Nope. 
Is there a reason you don't just put it on the market and uh, like list it and see what you can get for it that way? Yeah, uh, it's a possibility. I mean, that's, I mean, I haven't really thought about it. I get like ten investors constantly bugging me, and I'm, you know, I'm. I turned. I had one come out here, look through it, made an offer, and I said I can't go that low. So, what is the best you think you could do on for selling it as far as a price? Uh, probably low four. In the low fours. Yeah. Okay. And so, I mean, I'm just trying to see something here. Let me pull it up on the computer. Because, I mean, I, you guys got you, you guys got properties out west? Uh, not right now. They're occupied with people living in them right now. We don't have anything uh, empty. You know, they as soon as we get yeah, them got, out there, I, got, I would have to talk. I got people renting with me right now. So you have other properties that you would sell one of those as well, or? No, 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 no. I got people living in my home with me. I got a five-bedroom home, so I got people living in, three people living here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just pulled it up on Zillow. It says it's a five-bedroom, two-bath. Is that what it is? Correct. See, I wonder why the Zestimates say 182. I know it's got to be more than that. Well, taxes, they don't really want to crush me on that. I, I walked through with the appraiser. So you've had it appraised recently? What did they come up with when they uh, did their no, appraisal? No, yeah, they just did it. I don't know. They just did it. And, uh, you know, they checked everything. Like I got a, pour, a new porch put on. I got a patio. I got another new porch put on. And I got a detached garage. It's brand new. And I got all new siding, new roof. And they didn't even come in. Thank God. Oh wow! So they did like yeah, a. The government. So they did like government a, taxes. Oh okay. So they did like some type of desk type appraisal or something like that, I guess. Yeah, they do an outside appraisal. And they came back at in the four hundreds. No, 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 no. That's the government did that. I don't know. I don't know yet. Yeah. I don't know what they're doing it for for the fiscal year. Yeah. You know how they change it all the time. Hey, Chris, so <laughs> you said something about there's other people living in the house. If you were to sell it, where are those people going to go? Well, that's what I'd have to talk to them about. That's why I put myself six months out. Oh. Uh, getting good rent money. So give them time to be able to move out and everything? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I guess they're on regular rents, yeah. or is that like a month to month type rental thing? Month to month. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So they could move. You just want to give them time so they're not jumping through hoops. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, that's fair. I mean, that's nothing wrong with that. It's good to give people time because trying to find a new place can definitely be stressful. Yeah. So you've already identified a place for yourself as well? Not really. I, that's just another thing. I would have to find somewhere to rent or just to buy. But I don't know. Everything's so expensive. Once you do move, like you gotta watch all your money because it'll be gone quick. You know it. They'll eat you up in real estate commissions, closing costs, fees. Oh, I know. All yep. of it. Well, I mean, you know, we do buy houses for cash in any condition, regardless of how much you owe. I mean, is it trying? Are you trying to pay off a loan or something first and like get the difference of it? Is that Not, what you're trying? Yeah. To do? Oh, yeah. I would have to. I got a ninety thousand dollar loan on it. Left. So paying that off is important. And do you need like all of the cash to move to your new place, or is this something you could take like some money now and get the rest over time, something like that? I don't know. Yeah, it would depend. Right. It all depends how much. <laughs> Yeah, because we've actually structured deals like that before where, you know, somebody's trying to get a certain purchase price like you. And what we did is we gave them some money now and we set them up on a term where we paid them over time, where we relieved them of all of the maintenance and repairs and everything of dealing with the house. We went through a regular closing, just like any other deal, but we elevated you from being a landlord to where you'd be more like the bank, where you would actually be making money off your property uh, over time. And it also helps you soften your tax blow as well. 
Right. What about something like that would not work for your situation? It, it's a possibility. Okay. Yeah, I mean... I, I have to talk, I'll talk to my, uh, the people here too, you know. Yeah, and we're really flexible on that as well. Like, we can take it with the tenants in place so that you can go ahead and move and you're not delayed on it. And we'll work with them to either let them stay or either help them get another place so we can do something different with the house. But it sounds like it's already monetized and making money. And that's really what we do is, uh, you know, put people in properties, let right. them live in it. As long as they pay, they can stay. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Right. So if, doing good. so if they were to stay in this house and you were to move out, what space would still be available for somebody else to move into? <laughs> um, it would have two bedrooms. So like a two bedroom and do they get their own bath or they would have to share with the other people living there? It's a, yeah, it's a, I got upstairs its own bathroom and downstairs has its own bathroom, full bath. Okay, so in the event we were to leave those tenants in place, purchase the house, um, and somebody else was to move into that other spot that's available where you're occupying now, they would have two bedrooms and their own bath? No, it would be a shared bath. Two bedrooms and a shared bath. Okay, that's not a problem. I just like to know what we're getting into because we do work with right. people in situations like this. And I'll actually prefer it to be a little more complex because if it's too easy, anybody can do it, right? <laughs> right. So I try to come in right. and just come with a solution for you. Um, so, I mean, I'm thinking what we can do here, like I said, I can figure out what we can do as far as a cash offer, which I'm not sure if it would be enough. It would probably be something close to what the other people told you. I would rather get you exactly what you're looking to get as far as a purchase price. We just have to divvy up the terms as far as what's going forward on the rest of it. Now, the other two tenants that's living in the property, it's two other people, right? Or is it just one? It's uh, just two. But my, one of them is my, my son, which pays me, but he probably would come with me. Okay, so it will actually open up two more spots in the house. Right. Okay, that's even better. And you can charge up, you can charge five, six hundred dollars a, a, a bedroom. Yeah. So for that's the per, so the person that's staying there that would be staying potentially, what would that person be paying? That's that's staying now. Six hundred. And they're just getting a bedroom and a shared bath. Yep. One bed and one bath. So you could do six hundred times. You know, five, you know, four people. That's twenty four hundred dollars a month if I if I wanted to. <clears throat> I got a lot of people wanting to come here, but I, I just uh, don't know if I want to put that many people in here right now. It's just me, my son, and another, another person. So, so that other person is more. A lot more. So that other person is more like the one we need to find out if they either can stay or if they can find a new place. Am I hearing that correct? Right. I would oh. have to talk to them. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I mean, I think that we can definitely structure something on this, um, you know, if this works for you. Uh, and you said you would want to be, you know, worst case scenario in a low 400s range. Um, now, yeah. as far yeah. as... Uh, or 400 I would do 400 if that would work but I turned down uh, I can even tell you the people I turned down two people two different investors that um, just wasn't going to be enough for me to yeah. move everything and then they told me that they would move it for me and you know how people do they really wanted to get it yeah they were getting uh, thirsty they were getting commission breath huh <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, they what is... It, I just couldn't go that low. And they were hoping I could do it within three months. And I said, well, you know, it's just technical. Then you want to go out. I wanted to go out later. But... <laughs> and then he was like, he, you know, he came in and, and he looked everywhere. And he said, uh, could use a little more painting. And you know how you nitpick it. He wanted me to, he, he would have to do a little painting and uh, what else he say? Um, which 
there is some uh, need for some, you know, maybe some touch ups. You know what I mean? Yes. Painting. Painting. I got a new kitchen. I could send you pictures of my interior. Did I do that already? With no, you? not yet. No, nope. this is my first time looking into this here. And okay, well, I can do. I could. I send it to a lot of a lot of investors, and they love it. I'll send you pictures of everything. That would be great. So let me ask you this, Martin. What is it that you actually need to help you move to this next place? What is the real like stopping point? What's been the challenge so far to, to stop you from being able to move out closer to your kids? Um, well, it's just a matter of getting, I mean, I, I'm on disability and I had a stroke, so it's been rough. So uh, I work kind of slow. I, I mean, I'm not even working anymore, but I move kind of slow. Uh, I would have probably have to, you know, get people to move me out and find a place where I can go to. I'd have to start looking for somewhere to rent or something like that. You know what I mean? And so as far as that part, what is it that you need? Like a three bedroom, two bedroom? What kind of space do you need to move into when you move? Probably a, probably a three bedroom. Three bedroom, so a three one would yeah. work for you. Yeah, that would work. A three one. And what area did you want to be in? Uh, you say like out west. Did you mean like uh, as far as Wentzville? Are you close to St. Charles? What area you want to be in? Yeah, maybe anywhere from St. Charles to Wentzville. Because I haven't even looked, because I haven't even thought about moving anymore. Because we just had a property we did last month in. Um, what is that called? Moscow Mills. Would that be too far? Oh yeah, yeah, that's fine. Or is that a good? Or is that a better area for you? I mean, that's fine. That would probably work. Yeah, I'm gonna check back with I the people we sold the deal to. It might still be vacant. It might work out perfectly. This house was built in like 2020, so it's a newer house. And uh, yeah. I mean, what's the most you can afford to pay on a rent on something like that? If we were to get you something out in that area. Well, it all depends on what I can get for uh, you guys to pay out up front, you know, because that would help. I'm on disability. I make 1900 a month. It's not a lot. Yeah. Well, we're going to increase that for you. We're going to get you some more cash flow, Mr. Martin. <laughs> so, oh, okay. so, yeah. so, need so the biggest thing is finding you a place, at least a three bedroom, one bath. You want to be out in the Wentzville. St. Peter's, somewhere out that way, out right. further west. Right, it would be just a rental, correct? Yeah, and that's if I can even find anything. I'm just going to check with my network to see because I don't really necessarily deal in uh, rentals per se like that. So I'm just going to check with a right. couple of buddies of mine to see what's available, see if they know something coming available. Because I, I like to p fix the whole puzzle together so it works out perfectly for you. You know what I mean? Okay, yeah. So that would solve that part if we can get you a, a place out there. Any other challenges that you feel like that have been stopping you from getting this uh, process done? Uh, just getting everything moved, you know. Probably get a store, have to find a storage too, I guess. Okay, yeah, that's not too hard to do. I do know movers as well. We move people all the time, or we have people that need movers, so I just refer them to a guy. They have a big 26-foot box truck. You got more stuff than that, or is that big enough, you think? 24-foot, you said? 26-foot box truck. Oh. <laughs> um, it might be good enough. I got a 4,000-square-foot home, so... Okay. And the other thing too, Martin, I did not uh, disclose. Anything you do want to leave behind, you can simply leave it. You don't really have to even take everything. We can deal with anything that you leave behind. So we just kind of make it easier for you. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, we, I, I don't know what I would leave, but it's, uh, I got really nice couches and stuff, but I don't know if I'll need, you know, I'll probably take them. We'll see. Yeah. So it might make it easier for you versus you trying to trying to take all that stuff, move all that stuff. Anything you don't want, you can just simply leave it behind and we'll deal with it uh, from there. Whether we you know, do whatever we can to get rid of it versus you dealing with that. So like I said, we just like to make it easy for you. Okay. <laughs> so the price, the uh, new location. And the moving are the three main things that have been challenges so far. 
Anything else I'm leaving out? No, that's, that's it. Okay, perfect. So what I'm going to do now, Martin, is I'm going to uh, do a little research just to see what we can do as far as an offer for you. I'm going to send you a text message right after this call, which will have the company information, my phone number, all of that on there. So you'll know who you've been speaking okay. to. Uh, like I said, my name is Chris with St. Louis Cash Buyers. Uh, oh. Did you have any other questions or anything for me for now before I let you go? No, but I will send you pictures. That would be great. Yeah, pictures make... Uh, yeah, the, out, the outside and the inside. What do they say? A picture's worth a thousand words, right? Yes, yes it is. All right, Martin. Anything mm -hmm. else I can do for you today before I let you go? No, no. If you can... Uh, if we can just work together and figure it out, that would be great. That's what I want to do. Work together and figure it out. That's my middle name, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. All right. All right. You have a good day. Uh, you'll hear back from me soon. Bye. Bye. All right. All right. Mr. Martin, what do y'all think about that call? text my generic text say it was a great speaking to you today martin to learn more about us at our website please send the best email address for you and i'm going to send them an loi letter of intent i'm just going to break down uh just some of the basic questions that people ask when we're doing deals like this so this will be more of a hybrid since he said he owes about ninety thousand on this deal but he want to sell it for 400 i don't even know if that's even a good number or not there are houses over there that go for a lot of money but i didn't know they was in the fours i knew they went to the threes but they in the fours these days it may work depending on what we need to do to get this guy on so let's see here good call yeah what up hey brenda just came in on it sounds like it went well yeah so um that seller he contacted us um, through some marketing say he wants to sell his house but when I first got on a phone call with him he made it sound like oh I really don't have to sell I really don't need to sell but as I started asking questions uncovering more things he's just got a lot of issues which you know we like to help people like this his main challenges were the price because he's been lowball in his mind somebody gave, offered him 350 um, a new location that's usually the biggest issue with this which may not be an issue if he's not too picky and then moving that's easy so it sounds like a good lead to upgrade. Easy to talk to. Yep. But he's already been talking to investors and what they've been telling them. Low ball, low ball, low ball. I can give you more than anybody else if you take these terms. And he just sent his email back that quick. Also send pics via email to or text them back to this number if easier for you. Boom. All right. So yeah, he's motivated, but he's got a lot of issues, you know. But he's trying to get out to his kids. Six months, the only reason he even came up with that time frame of six months because he don't think he has time to do everything. Uh, dealing with the so-called tenant that's there paying 600 a month. Let me write that in my notes. Matter of fact, let me add this guy to the CRM. He's not even in the CRM. But let's add him. Up and add him. So any questions or anything about that particular deal while I add his info I already had his email address. Why do I even send that? Well, I guess that's good just to get feedback from people. Just so we know that they are serious. If they send their phone number, you know they really don't do something. Right? He said he already had a bunch of wholesalers or a bunch of investors giving him offers of 350 and he said he can't go that low. 
I don't know why it can't go that low. I mean, there's a lot more to go into this, I'm sure, but I always like to ask those questions. Even if I know the answer, I like to ask it again so I can listen to them to see how they answer the question. And then when they say the thing that they're saying, it gives me a better idea of how we're going to actually help them out. This isn't the best part of Ferguson, too. But I ain't know they was getting 400 over there. You ain't know we was getting 400 in Ferguson, do you? He already doing like a co-living or a pass pick or something. He's doing it already internally. He got his son paying him, him paying him. So that's what I would do with that house. If it made sense, that would be my only real exit strategy. Same thing he's doing. It's a big house, 4,000 square foot house. Who want to deal with that? Is co-living or pass split popular here? It's not necessarily popular here, but uh, people do it. It's not uh, too far-fetched. Owes 90000 on loan. Wants 400 k But he originally put in 400 He originally put in 450 But did you like how I got him down on that number? He wanted 450 on the form and say he wanted 450. I'm asking him like, um, what's the best you can do? He said, oh, low 400s. In fact, I'll take 400. Damn. So we can just get close to that. We might not even have to give him that. We can give him 390. I give him 390, 10,000 down. <laughs> 400K. He wants 400K. Uh, what else would I need to put in the notes? Uh, uh, five bed. Two bath, four thousand square feet house. Tenant paying six hundred, and he's thinking we can get four people in there. He thinks uh, he already sent him pictures. It look like he thinks we can do four tenants at. 600 each. I want to give him a thousand a month and take the house over. And I get that 2500. He needs to use that box truck. Exactly. <laughs> it looks like he already sending uh, information. Let me copy this here. Yeah, he already sending pictures. He ain't playing. Y'all want to see what it looked like? Me too. Uh, let's see here. Boom. Owner occupied. Uh, follow up. And he came from there. And doing due diligence and follow up. Mortgage amount was 90000 see save seller lead now let's see what he just been texting me he over here dinging me up with pictures did it and did it and did it and oh that's a nice little house oh yeah he got some nice stuff that's why he's like yeah i gotta so let me let y'all see the pictures he got it on facebook these pictures say from august of 2020 He listed it on Facebook at some time, I guess, at some point. And he really got a slew of pictures. He's dinging me up. Ding, 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 ding. Every time y'all hear that little noise. Yep, let's see what the picture looks like. Huh. There's one picture. He is not playing. He's dinging me up. Ding, 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 ding. Here's some more pictures. Oh, that's a cute little bathroom. I can do some damage with that. His and hers. I guess it's easier to just scroll. There's a kitchen. They look like, I'm gonna like the kitchen. We're fixing up right now. I didn't use white cabinets though. I'd use gray. Leave all that stuff there. You do got some nice stuff. But that's what the house look like. See what we're doing. We're gonna send him an offer. Uh, L O I letter of intent. What are you using to share your screen on IG? I'm not sharing it. I do the flip. I got two monitors right here. See, this is my setup. 
He's like, what are you doing? And my VA schedule on the wall for my virtual assistants. Find more leads than you can even process. That's multiple listing service. That's the MLS for your real estate agents. Absentee owner information. Find the cash buyers and flippers in any market nationwide. Pull a pre foreclosure list. And don't forget, you gotta find those comps. Get nationwide access with multiple filters powered by PropStream at WokeSource.com. Get your seven day free trial today. WokeSource.com. That's WokeSource.com. You may have heard the saying, the fortunes are in the follow up. Now there's a brand new system that is great to help you cold call, text message, drop voicemails, and so much more all automated. You don't have to remember anything, just set it and forget it. All you have to do is speak to people. Check it out, WokeReply.com. It's a multi-touch marketing campaign where you can schedule to send text, voicemail, email, and even live calls all on autopilot. Check it out today, WokeReply.com. That's WokeReply.com.